Okay, so I have a lot to say in little time, so here we go. First, let me say that I love technology. Couldn't see my life without it. The fact that we now have a mobile device that has a camera, GPS, and functions that would make most laptops blush is just amazing. Let's just think about it. In the 1950s, there was the world's first commercially available computer, called the Univac. It was 13 metric tons, 25 by 50 feet, held 12,000 characters, that's 12 kilobytes, and had the average speed of 2.26 megahertz. While your average smartphone is 3 ounces, holds 16 megabytes, that's 16 billion characters, and has the average speed of 1,000 megahertz. Wow, and that's just hardware. These new advances have forever changed the way we live, from entertainment to business to simply how we communicate. But is there something we're not seeing? As modern technology becomes more and more intertwined with our lives, it has the tendency to influence us in undesirable ways. It's time to step back and realize that in this digital age, it is important to know how these new innovations affect us, our workspace, and our future offspring. This tech was first used in business, so that's a good place to start. We're all in agreement that companies wouldn't be what they are today without the latest innovations. The way they transfer money and information? They've changed completely, and you probably already know that. So let's move on to the negatives. One serious chink in the armor is that information in a computer system is easier to be stolen by pirates. Uh, try again. Closer. Yes, meet the modern computer pirate. <laughs> be it personal information like identities or bank accounts, or just confidential stuff. They want to make it theirs. And they're not easy to handle either. It costs companies on average $75.6 billion to keep their information protected from these guys. And it doesn't stop there. They go after their products. The software, music, and movie industries lose tens of billions of dollars each year as pirates create digital copies of their work and post it upon sites where people can download it for free. I mean the software business lost $50.1 billion alone. Goodness gracious! really makes you think if it's all worth it. Information and funds pass more freely, but it's harder to control and can cause huge losses. I could go further, but I need to move on. Throughout the years, devices like phones and laptops have gotten smaller and cheaper, perfect to become commercially available for the general public. It's hard to argue with the results as people's houses are now full of technological devices. It's obvious we're surrounded by technology, and we interact it on a constant daily basis, to the point where people have grown dependent on it. Society is facing a shift like no other. Social networking sites, Facebook and MySpace to name a few, are an entertaining way to stay in touch with family, friends, and people you don't normally see. I mean, 500 million people around the globe use Facebook. The recent Egyptian revolution couldn't have gotten off the ground without it. How bad can it be? However, the issue resides in that this simple and innovative mode of communication has become people's only form of communication. Using a social network consistently without other forms of interaction has shown especially for kids to cause bad social skills, as communication on these sites is asynchronous and solely through text. A person does not practice real-time and verbal responses, leading to a group of people who are very awkward in social situations. Probably not going to be the life of a party if you know what I mean. Ah, but this is only part of the issue. Technology has also become a weapon of mass distraction. Ironic for devices that are meant to encourage productivity, they cause a counterproductive practice. Things like email, internet gaming sites, as well as social networking, they all serve as a distraction and keep people from getting their work done. Aw oh, man, really need to get this report done. Ooh look, someone ruined my wall, gotta respond. Man, gotta get this video done. OMG, an email, gotta reply, LOL. And guys, I know you're going to be mad at me. YouTube is great and all, but you have to admit, it can be kind of- ah! Get out of here, Nyan Cat, I'm trying to make a point. As I was saying, it can be- Quit it. It can be- Aw, oh, forget it. Distractions like this truly hinder the productivity of not only people at work, but school, and pretty much anywhere else, actually. It's undeniable that technology is our future and it grants us the ability to accomplish tasks that men and women 20 to 50 years ago could not have imagined. But as modern technology becomes completely integrated with our lives, we need to be aware of its effects on us and society as a whole. For this new technology to be a constant benefactor of the human race, 
People need to realize that it doesn't hurt to take a break from our social networks and YouTube videos. It's time for us to remember that computers and smartphones are not the objects responsible for our futures. We are.